This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Cancers out here. The Cash App is D E E F O N D E L. It's D Fondell. For those of my Cancers that need it right now, it's also in my bio. I appreciate all my Cancers out here. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. Once again, don't forget to follow. Thank you, Low, for the like. Okay, so we got the Emperor. So for a lot of my Cancers, this could be your energy right now. My Cancers got some masculine energy. I got you on the radio station like I'm in the car. I'm staying to Gemini for show. Sure. Okay, okay. I love it. I'm here for it. We got a Gemini cross watcher. We got a Cancer that could be dealing with a Gemini. We got Hermit mode. So for a lot of my Cancers, you could be feeling stuck in the situation right now. A lot of my cancers are feeling stuck. Whether this is you feeling stagnant because something isn't moving the way you want it to move. Or this could be a relationship. Thank you, Lo. Yep, that's the cash app right there. Somebody just put it in the comments. I'm loving the energy here. Uh, we got the chariot. So this is who's coming in for cancer. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Taurus. We got the lover's card. So for a lot of my cancers, you're going to be entering a relationship really soon. Now, I know some of my cancers, especially for those of you that are single, you might not have been looking to hear that or you might not see it, but this is going to be happening for you even if you don't see it. We got the strength card. This could be with a Leo for some of you. So for a lot of my cancers, you're going to be put in a position to where the universe is going to be testing your strength to see how strong you are or how dedicated you are to a situation. Um, we got somebody from the past that has something they want to say to cancer. I only do past love and messages for some signs, but I'm getting my cancers want to hear this right now. My cancers really want to know how this person is feeling. So let's go ahead and get into this message. I want to feel that way again. We both know I'm not the one for you. Just being near you is intoxicating. The time it just wasn't right for us. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Thank you, Gigi. I appreciate that. I lost myself for a while. So many things remind me of you. I wish I could share my good news with you. So for a lot of my cancers, this is someone wanting to tell you how they feel about you. They feel like when y'all were connected, the time it was not right. They weren't ready for what cancer was ready for. Now, I know this is tough for you to take in cancer, but what you wanted, they didn't want at that time. You speak to me through music. It's a song that you two love, that y'all would be in a car together and y'all would just turn up and y'all just love the song. And this person hears the song and every time they hear it, they get sad because they start thinking about you. I replay our conversations over and over. So for a lot of my cancers, this is this person going back, reading old text messages, listening. You know how you can like send somebody a voice message? I'm getting you were doing this with this person a lot. They're going back to the ones they kept re-listening to that. They're going back and reading old Facebook messages, however you were communicating with this person. We have, I know I'll cross that line with you. So for a lot of my cancers, they are well aware of what they did to you. They are well aware of how they treated you. Thank you for that cash app. I did just get that. I wonder if you're happy without me. So for a lot of my cancers, they are wondering if you are happy you know, now that they're not around or now that you're with someone else, because I'm getting a lot of you in another situation. Some of my cancers went from one situation to the next. Some of my cancers said I need a break and took some time out for themselves. So we got a lot of different energies coming in for cancer. What's coming up for cancer right now? What is coming up for cancer? So it looks like within five days, you're going to be making a really important decision. Now, this could be five days to five weeks. So the numbers for cancer right now is going to be five, five, five. But I'm really getting five days for a lot of you. For some of you, looks like next Thursday, you're going to be hearing something from a Taurus. For those of you that are dealing with a Taurus. In about two weeks, some of you are going to be in a situation to where you're going to be forming a new relationship. This could be with a Taurus for some of you. Especially for those of you that are dealing with a Taurus right now, I am seeing you in a relationship with, with this Taurus. Some of you that are already in a relationship with a Taurus, you could be getting engaged or married. We got a cancer that said, been seeing 555 a lot lately. Yeah, that's going to be really important for y'all cancer. So just make sure you remember that. For those of you that are dealing with a Sagittarius, you're going to be making a decision if you want to be with the Sagittarius or not. For those of my cancers that are dealing with a Sagittarius right now, for those of my cancers that are dealing with an Aquarius, listen to your friends. Some of your friends have been trying to tell you something about this Aquarius. Listen to them. I am still doing five for five questions for cancer. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is there, Fondale at gmail.com. What's the advice for cancer right now? What does cancer need to do? 
My happiness is a direct reflection on how quickly I can change my perceptions of fear to love. So for a lot of my cancers, especially for those of you that are afraid of the thought of love right now because of past situations or maybe just afraid to be with someone. Marriage advice for my cancers that are married. We got a lot of cancers that are married. A lot of my cancer clients that come to me are married. You know, I would say don't overanalyze the situation. My for my cancers that are married, you're could be over a lot in analyzing the situation. You could be looking into it too much, looking for things. You know, okay, if a red flag come your way, but don't look for them for my cancers that are married right now. And if this is something that you're really wanting, then stick it through. But for my cancers that are wanting to walk away, don't waste no more time. Because my cancers have a problem with holding on. It's safe for me to ask for help. People want to support me. So for a lot of my cancers that are in a situation to where they're needing help, but, you know, their pride is getting in the way. Don't let your pride get in the way because you could be holding yourself back from a blessing. I cherish every cell in my body. I am a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. Thank you, AJ, mommy. I appreciate that. We got a cancer that resonates. Um, so for a lot of my cancers, this is no longer talking about what you're going to do. This is just doing it at this point. This is standing on business. I do appreciate all my cancers. Thank you for tuning in.